Right. Now, I want to continue on with the course, you know, where we left off. We were talking about, you know, the autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman, which starred Cicely Tyson, who turned 76 on on December the 19th, 1933. Now, Ernest Gaines, who wrote that book, Autobiography of Miss Jane Pittman, he also wrote A Lesson Before Dying. He turned 77 this year on January the 15th, 2010. Now, on January the 15th, 2010, it was an annual eclipse of the sun and the moon. And it's similar to a total solar eclipse. The only difference is, is that when the moon eclipses the sun, it leaves a little ring around it to where it, when you see a total solar eclipse, it leaves as far as you see the corona and the brightness of the sun to where an annual eclipse is something that's different. But don't worry, we're going we're gonna to get into that and you're going to see exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to annual eclipse. But this eclipse, it started off in the country known, <coughs> known as the Central African Republic. And it received independence from France, which is going to be 48 hours from now on August the 13th. 1960, which was, of course, 1960 is a year of Africa, when a certain amount of, a significant amount of African countries gained independence from European powers. But August the 13th is the 225, 225th day of the year, and it takes the second planet, which is commonly known as Venus, 225 days to rotate around the sun. But this eclipse, you know, after Central African Republic, you know, it, 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 it carried on to a, a northwesterly path through the likes of Uganda, Somalia, parts of Kenya, and then it, it went through, it passed through the Indian Ocean, and then it went into India, Sri Lanka, uh, Burma, Maldives, and I'll get into that at another lecture, but it's an important event because it took place 177 days before the actual total solar eclipse this year that took place on July the 11th, 2010. Now, Alex Haley's roots, it started off with the birth of Kunta Kente in a village that is known as J Jufra, which is 13 and 20 degrees, 1320 and 19 degrees north, 1622 and 57 degrees west, and the nation is now known as Gambia. That became independent from Great Britain on February the 18th, 1965, which is the birth date when a woman in California, A, gave birth to a young boy named Andre Rome Romello. I mean, Andre Romel Young, A.K.A. Dr. Dre, who was a founding member of the group known as the World Class Wrecking Crew who was associated with acts such as Egyptian Lover, Arabian Prince, Uncle James Arvey, Army, L.A. Dream Team, and the Feel Our Fresh crew. And Dr. Dre was also a founding member of N.W.A., which included M.C. Ren, D.J. Yella, Easy e and Ice Cube. And the rest of that is history, and we'll get into that another time. But remember, two days, 37 years from the birth of, the unofficial birth of hip-hop. Now, Jufra is on the north bank of the 700-mile River Gambia and is home to what is now known as James Island, which is 13 and 19 degrees north, 16 and 22 degrees west, and named after James II of Scotland, who was born on October the 14th, 1633, which is 366 years before the first president of Tanzania, Julius Nyerere, returned to our ancestors on October 14, 1999. And James II of Scotland was the last Catholic monarch to reign over the kingdoms of England, Scotland, and Ireland. And his reign began on February the 6th, 1685 which I believe, if my mathematics is correct, is 226 years before the birth of the 40th President of the United States of America, Ronald Reagan, who, of course, was born 34 years before the birth of 
Robert Nesta Marley, the right excellence, one of the greatest musicians of all time. But his reign, James II, his reign began on February the 6th, 1685, and he was coronated 76 days later on April the 23rd, 1685. And this king, King James, was a member of the, the House of Stork, which was founded by Robert II of Scotland, whose reign began on February the 22nd, 1731, 361 years before the birth of George Washington, who was a master mason, who was initiated into Frederick, Fredericksburg Lodge on August the 4th, 1752. And of course, he was a slave owner, plantation owner, who became the first president of the United States of America when he took his oath of office in a Masonic ceremony on April the 30th, 1789. But James II, his reign ended on December the 11th, 1688, which this year on December the 11th will be 322 years ago from when he threw his great seal of the realm into the 215 mile river Thames. And we won't have to get into what is this great seal of the realm because all English monarchs have had their own seal and these great seals go back to an individual point to which I'm going to break something down we're going to get to. But Kunta Kinte, you know, his family landed on September the 29th, 1769 in what is now known as Annapolis, Maryland which of course Annapolis is the capital of Maryland and today is a major center for life science research and development. And Maryland is home to over 350 bio, biotechnology companies. Now let's keep in mind that 2010 is United Nations International Year of Biodiversity. Now Maryland became the seventh state 222 years ago on April the 28th and was founded on a charter given to George Calvert who was the first Baron of Baltimore who lived from 1579 to April the 15th, 1632. And the colony itself was founded by his son, Leonard Calvert, who lived from 1609, or I'm sorry, 1606 to June 9, 1674, and was the first governor of the province of Maryland, who led two vessels known as the Ark and the Dove, which carried 300 settlers that left off West Coast off the island of Wright, Great Britain, on November the 22nd, 1633 and arrived at the 410 mile Powhatan River or James River which is 36 degrees north 76 degrees west on February the 24th 1634 and settled in what is now known as St. Mary's Maryland on March the 25th 1634 and St. Mary's Maryland is home of the Yale Kamiko which was the name of the original people who were here before the settlers came, and I'm going to continue on the next part.